GMPI's materials are being used in some very creative ways here in Southeast Asia. Listen to how a taxi driver is taking advantage of the printed materials to share the gospel. One of the greatest challenges in evangelizing the Buddhist world is reaching the monks and spiritual leaders of the people. Government rules make it illegal and dangerous for Christians to openly evangelize. But that doesn't stop Brother Quan Ong from trying. His day job is driving a taxi, which allows him to meet countless strangers every day. In his cab, Quan openly displays his Bible and Christian tracts for all to see. When a customer shows interest, Quan takes time to answer their questions. <laughs> Through these tracks, monks and other people ask me about how this relates to Buddha. I tell them that Christianity relies on simple belief, but Buddhism requires meditation, actions, and other practices. Kwan willingly gives away tracks to his curious customers. When I meet someone who is interested in knowing more about Christianity, I try to give them answers by giving them one of the tracks. Printed materials like this have proven to be a powerful ministry tool throughout the Buddhist region. The most effective materials simply quote scriptures in a systematic way to show that strong evidence of God can be found even in the ancient Buddhist teachings. With each tract he gives away, Quan says a silent prayer that the material will have an impact on the heart of the reader. He prays they'll turn to the Bible to find answers to life's hardest questions. Whether it's in print or video or audio, the materials being produced here are having a great impact. Listen how one young lady is using a chart about the gospel to share with her friends and neighbors. Sandi Than grew up as a devout Buddhist believer, worshiping, making offerings, and praying to the many gods. She believed that it was important to go through these rituals so that she didn't offend any of the Buddhist gods. When I was a Buddhist, I did not know there was only one true God. Sandi met a Christian teacher who shared a remarkable story about the beginning of man, languages, religions, and nations. After studying his charts and diagrams, Sandi quickly understood that there really was only one true God. I decided instead of worshipping the many gods of Buddha, I would only worship the one true God. Sandi's heart was changed. So I decided to take baptism, and I became a Christian. And then I decided to share all of this with my neighbors. Using the same charts and diagrams that helped her learn about Christ, Sandi began to reach out to close friends in her neighborhood and shared with them the story of the one true God. After I used this chart, my family became Christians. My family has eight people and they all became Christians through me using this chart to explain the gospel. So I continue to use the charts to help explain about Christ to my neighbors.